Hi guys, yes, big event is coming up. Tanya is getting married, September the 10th. And I promised her to make some wonderful macaroons for her wedding, how some of these macaroons are made. Follow me into my kitchen. And today, I will be using Frederick Antone's recipe for macaroons. Fred, uh, Frederick Antone and Christelle Brewer are the executive chefs at the Prix Catalan restaurant, four star restaurant in Paris. They have published this book together uh, entitled uh, Petit Gâteau Little Cakes. And there are several recipes that I really like. And the um, ones that I'm gonna make are these here. Good example, macaroon a la vanille bourbon. <music> Step number one, we're gonna separate the egg white from the yellow. I'm gonna do it very carefully. Make sure you do not get any of the yolk into your white eggs because if you do, you will not be able to whip the egg white into the meringue. It'll go flat on you. So I separated the egg yolk from the white. I only will be using the white of eggs. Then I will be carefully weighing every ingredient. Very important that you stay within the requirements of the weight and do not deviate from it. This, uh, from uh, Paris, and um, the almonds themselves originated in Spain, and it's uh, finely ground. The finer the uh, almond flour, the more brilliant will be will be the macarons. That's the sugar, powdered sugar. That's going to be sifted together with the almond flour. We're sifting the powdered sugar with the almond flour together. And we want to make sure that the almond flour is ground as fine as it can be. The finer the almond flour, the more brilliant the macarons. Uh, some cocoa to our mixture of sugar and almond flour and we're gonna make chocolate macarons we're beating the egg white the machine is doing all the work Coloring. 
we're going to be piping the macaroons onto the baking sheet. They will go in the oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They will rise in the oven at that temperature, creating a foot called un pied. That is a ganache. I need to soften it up, add flavor, and add a little coloring for the finishing touch.